Good evening, everyone, and welcome. And since it is May 4th, May the 4th be with you. Hope everyone's having a good day today. I we're in a little bit of a Star Wars Firefly mashup going on right now with, um, why can't I think of the character's name? But K2SO, as my husband tells me from the other room. Um, bo both by, um, our good friend, um, why can't I think of it? Now I can't think of the actor's name. I am failing. <laughs> Alan Tudyk. Thank you, Cujo. You're amazing. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to do some more work on the Summer Carousel Horse today. Uh, got some more of the roughly bits in here last night. Going to be working more on that and kind of clearing up some of this white in here so that we can move into the more roughly bits on the horsey bed. So, if you're just tuning in for the first time, my name is Kayariana, or you may call me Kaya for short. And I am a creative streamer. I'm mostly doing cross-stitch right now, but I did announce this week that my husband and I are moving. So I'll have more craft space and have more stream space. So I'll start getting back into painting and other creative endeavors. So that's I'm looking super forward to that, and it'll be a lot of fun. And since it's Friday night, I we are streaming like Vikings because I'm imbibing with my favorite, uh, one of my favorite beverages, which is mead. So if everyone's having a good Friday night and that you're not having, you're either out having fun or you're relaxing at home, some of my favorite Friday nights are relaxing at home. So that is always fun. Oh, Saren, thank you for the host. I appreciate that as always. Thank you so much. Let's see, where are we going? And I know I'm already crazy, so we're not going there this time, but maybe next time we'll go crazy. So... So that's happy Friday. Yes, it is Friday uh, for people who do work regular work weeks. I usually have weekends off. So yes, it is my Friday as well. Yay, Friday. I do have to work Sunday, but that was because of childcare and in a couple weeks we're moving and that's all gonna work itself out. So yay, don't have to work Sundays anymore. Coming up very soon. Did I get that? I think I went through the wrong. I did. No, I had that right, gosh. Don't you hate it when you have that right? I think you have it right and you think then you think you don't have it right and it turns out you had it right all along. So I'm hoping to get some more of these roughly bits done today so that we can get more established so that by the time we get to where I have to move, we have a pretty good idea that this is looking at like a carousel horse. That's kind of my goal right now is just to get this looking more like a carousel horse and less like blobs. And I know I said I'd be going back to working on the fish, but I haven't been because I got distracted by a pretty spring stitch that I'm working on. Um, having that done soon so I can go back to the fish. I will pull it out later to show it off if anyone wants to see it. But for now, we're just going to work on the carousel horse. And even though I've got seven works in progress right now, I'm already starting to think about what my next possibilities for works in progress could be. And that's always a dangerous thought. My intention after doing um, the fish that I'm working on is was to work actually on the one that I'm working on right now. So that's going to be interesting to see where I go after that. And in case you haven't seen my, I've got my fish put away. I'm working on a fish stitch for my mother. It's a, a bunch of koi fish on a, on a pond. And it's so far it's turning out really good. I'm really enjoying it. But it's got a lot of yellow and gray kind of confetti going on. And I wasn't quite ready to jump back into confetti yet. So 
I'm taking a break. You're suffering from two tired of anything syndrome. Had a very full day. Yeah, the tree of life you did today, Sarah, was absolutely gorgeous. I love the owl and the fluorite. Good choices of color. Yandu keeps getting knocked over there. I wish I could have been a little more active during your stream, but I was at work, so it's sometimes it's harder to be pay attention. I had you listening, and I was enjoying it, and I enjoyed the final product, of course. My poor baby girl is upset about something again. But it was quite warm here today. It was a high of 90 Fahrenheit, which that's a little unusual for May. It's usually not quite that warm. So hopefully we get this heat out of the way this weekend and the following weekend so that the weekend we move isn't hot. But I always manage to pick the, either the hottest weekend to move or it's raining. Oh, I, I totally understand, Saren. If you, you know, could be chatty <laughs> with me today to keep me company. I appreciate it. Uh, and I totally understand. I mean, I faded in the middle of my stream last night. I'm like, oh, I've got to go to bed because I just, I hit, I hit a, my, was hitting my wall. I would have loved to have gotten my full two hours. I think I got an hour and a half in yesterday. But right now, I'm working on just getting the followers. I've got 31. I need 19 more, and then I will have on my way to affiliate. I'm excited. I'm working on it. Just streaming consistently, getting people to come in and say hi. And I'm having a lot of fun so far, so we'll see how this pans out. It'd be awesome if I get it done before I have to take the week off, well, a couple weeks off, but hey, I understand. It's more... I'm really enjoying um, the, the crafting community on Twitch. Everyone is so super supportive and just encouraging others to go check everybody out. And if you aren't following Sarah Nadia, you should totally go toss her a follow. She crafts so many amazing things. She is, you know, primarily I would say you are you like you build things like uh, t Trees of Life or Dream Catchers, but you also cross stitch and I. Have, you do a little crochet, you do all kinds of things, and she streams it, and she, it's a great community to hang out with, that's actually my community tag of Moonlit Meadows, that's a great group of people, and the people who come and watch your stream are just fun to chat with, so if you ever get a chance, toss her a follow, and definitely go check her out on stream. Anytime, Sarah. <laughs> we we do keep it pretty chill. It's 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 a fun stream, and I'd say we all have a great sense of humor, and we all are pretty fun. Actually, I I am gonna do so gonna blame you right now, Saren. If I, before. I met Saren and her community. I had managed to get myself down to two works in progress. I was so proud of myself. I only had two things in progress. And then I met Saren and the community. And now I have seven works in progress. So we can all see how well that panned out. Hey, Elf, welcome. How did everything go today with training? <laughs> yes. It's not just you, Saren. Everyone's an enabler. Oh, I don't know if I should do the thing. Totally do the thing. Definitely do the thing. <laughs> Do 
completely disorganized. Oh, that's that's a bummer to hear. I used to train in my job. I did a lot of training. I actually really loved training. And the way we did it was one-on-one, -on -one, sometimes two-on-one. -on -one, and I had a blast. But I got the position where they kept expecting me to cover more material and more things. And I never got more time to cover it. And I wasn't encouraged to take more time. So I kind of got to the point where I was done. Also, at the time, I was trying to plan a wedding with my husband. Uh, then fiance and I couldn't get the time off with him so it wasn't working that well so I said nope I'm done training goodbye <laughs> and I really I, I kind of miss it sometimes but right now there's no way that I would ever want to go back to training it just it was so much They wonder why they can't get people to all stay also of note they pay minimum wage and are comparing us to two other clubs where housing is up to half the cost is here. Yeah, that doesn't work. Uh, that's a bummer. Well, hopefully one of the other things you have lined up pans out so that this is just super temporary. you don't make a 30 day this will be happy yeah that's always a good feeling if well, I mean and it's a bummer that you have to do that with a job but it's good that you have something better quickly and then you can tell them exactly why they aren't keeping people yes yes Oh, we are having a slight turnover problem at my job as well, but there's all kinds of other things I'm not going to get into here. Oh, the owner flat out said she doesn't understand why they can't keep people at this club as her other two clubs don't have the turnover rate. Well... It's always fun when you find managers that are, are owners that are slightly out of touch with the atmosphere that they're in. And that seems to be the case where you are. You can't get over here. There's a box in your way. So right now, to help prevent the baby from crawling to where I am, because it's not really baby safe in this corner where I'm streaming, we're using our moving boxes to make me a, a small box fort, which makes a great barrier, but the dog is also confused as why she can't get over here anymore. Oh, that's a problem. I see what I did. I went too close. Woo, box forts rock. Yes. It is. A, I do have a box fort. It's the best box fort. <laughs> and now I found, now, now the baby has found me. She's looking at me and trying to eat the box because she's at the age where everything is the box of baby stuff. Miscellaneous. Oh, it does say miscellaneous baby stuff. You gonna stick around to fix it or just hop through it? No, no. As soon as you have another job, you're gonna go. Yeah, I think I would in the same situation you're in. I'd be like, nope, this is not. I am not gonna fix this mess. It's not worth the 12, 10, 10, 20 an hour where you get 15, 18 elsewhere. Yeah, exactly. I mean, working. No job. 
want a minimum wage paying job is better than no job, but if you can get a job that's going to pay you better than that, then yes, definitely jump on that. Two-bedroom apartments for 200 and two, 625 a month? God. That, that is so cheap. That sounds closer to what we're at, Elf. Um, they're usually more than that. One bedroom is much more than that here. But that is Southern California and the LA area for you. Yeah, that's out of touch with your workforce and what's going on. <laughs> All right. So do I want to move up there and get... Uh, yeah, I probably should. Let's see if I can follow. I want to do some more of this roughly bit on this side. So that I can move into the ruffly bits. <laughs> Alright, where are we going now? So, just over one. It's been really hard. I've been wanting to work on this outside of stream, but I'm kind of trying to save it for stream. Naka, you're not super late. I started a little bit early, so you're you're fine. Yes, ruffle butt is absolutely correct. <laughs> I love when you say that. You don't know why. I, I do mix up. I do say ruffly bits, and I do say ruffle butt because there is a ruffle butt on this horse. It has a very ruffly butt. <laughs> Yay! The gang's all here. Onaka, guess what is in my glass? <laughs> yeah, well, it's mead, so it's honey wine, but it is, it is indeed. I really wanted a beer tonight, but there's no beer in this house, so we had chilled mead, so we went with that instead. Amy has a swim diaper with ruffles. I call her ruffle butt when she wears it. She used to have pants like that, too. Well, yeah, ruffle butts are best on babies. Babies have ruffle butts a lot. Because they're cute. Naka, you have the most amazing emotes. No, that was the other way. Or was it? Nope, I did the three-quarter stitch the wrong way. <sighs> yeah. A friend of yours. Dragon Tears. Man, I love them. They're absolutely amazing. <laughs> Just think, you hit whatchamacallit soon, and then you need them yourself. Yeah, I don't even know. That's one thing I'm like, crap. I don't even know what I want to do, or even who to ask to help me build a room. Emote. I probably need some kind of duck, or I have my um, my little green, my little green sleeping creature, my Cali Greyhound. 
Pephilia, that's the word. Keep saying associate apprentice. Yeah. Well, I'm 19 followers away. I've got all the other goals hit for for a, a affiliate. And as long as I maintain viewers and stream schedule, uh, I definitely will hit that. <laughs> oh my god, 19. Oh yeah, I'm at 31 of 50. You need 50 followers, and that's the only thing I'm missing right now. So... I've been so thankful that I've been popping into other streamers um, streams who have who've seen who've popped in here and there and have given me shout outs and have picked up a couple here and there. I wish I had more graphic design experience or even illustration because I can draw. I can do all that stuff. I just can't make it digital. So I mean, I drew um, the little guy who's right there on my screen. I drew him, but I um, went to my friend who is an illustrator and graphic artist and said, hey, can you clean this up and, and make it green? And she said, yeah. And I paid her for it, of course, because I would not do have work like that done without having it pay, get paid for. But it was like, I don't know how to do that. That's why I went to someone who did. And I love, I love her work. And I... Uh, And I like, you know, I like him. I like that she was able to just use my drawing and just clean it up enough so it would make a nice, clean digital image. And he's a bit big for an emote because I don't think he'd, um, I don't think he'd translate well into that tiny of a thing. Otherwise, I would use him flat out as an emote. But I probably need some kind of duck emote. So that we can talk about the ducks. Or we could just ignore the ducks and not talk about them. Duck needed for sure. Yeah, I definitely think I need a duck. Yeah, it's something I've been, as I'm getting closer with the number of followers, I've just been then tinkering around in my back of my head. I'm like, oh, I don't even know what to do for about a remote. i got to figure out what I want. i got to figure out who to ask to help me with one. But it looks like I do have some options. looks like Naka's friend, Dragon Tears, is an option. I could always ask Fatal. It's, it's kind of like, I don't know what to do. Hold up a sec. Give you a minute. Okay. Let's see. Another full square. Ah, Chin more when. Thank you, thank you for the follow. I hope I said that one right. I figured it was because I know that you're also Trin Elf. So yay, thank you. I appreciate that. I've got my. I can't even convince my brother to get on Twitch and follow me. He's busy in the military, so he gets a little bit of a pass, but. I, 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 I cry that he doesn't want to come follow me on Twitch. I do know that he's getting ready to be deployed for some sea tests soon. Um, so I won't know that he's actually been deployed until he gets back. Because he, um, he does, he's, um, his Navy, he does, uh, he's with submarines, so... They're, they can't say anything about anything, and so I find out usually when he gets back. If I was closer, he could tell me in person, but he couldn't tell me on the phone or anything like that, so I find out later. Ah, uh, from when before name change was a thing. I guess that makes sense.
18 more followers. Getting there. Have you considered joining Naughty by Nature? They're great. That's poor. I thought about it. Um, I do. Uh, I, <laughs> I I haven't had a chance to go look at anything. When I have time to mess around on the computer, I'm usually at work, and all of the Twitch stuff is blocked at work. So I can't. I have to do a lot of it on my phone, and then I don't. And then I forget to do it. But yeah, I guess I could put an application with Naughty by Nature. I, I, it's not like I know anyone in Naughty by Nature, right? <laughs> see and since I've been doing primarily cross stitching it's definitely been fiber arts yeah toads don't know anyone like like aren't most of the people I follow in naughty by nature It's really hard to follow the rules. Um, let me guess: it's the first rule. Uh, don't be, don't be a jerk with a capital D. And stream fiber arts. I think I can handle that rule. I definitely will have to put an application. Anything to help push that little bit over that, la that last few. I'm so mean, it might be hard. Yeah, I'm a terrible person. I am the meanest person I know. You don't know, you find it really tough lately. All those Tree of Life projects interrupt my fiber arts all the time. <laughs> well, I'm also going to be painting on silk. That's technically fiber arts, right? And paper is a fiber. And I'll be painting on paper. <laughs> I'm, I'm stretching this really thin, right? I'm not making the paper, though. I'm painting on the paper. I think the really big problem would be my Lego streams, because um, Lego is not a fiber art. <laughs> so I occasionally use fiber. I'm good. Well, I once I get more established, I definitely plan to have a, dedicate one day a week to always being cross stitching and whether I don't whether I cross stitch for three days a week or I only cross stitch one day a week one my goal is to cross stitch at least one day a week when I'm actively streaming so that I'm working on this slowly plugging it away Because I definitely, well, I don't have a ton of, I have a few Lego things to put together, but I don't have a lot. So I want to space out my Lego stream so that I can make, you know, make them last. And well, I'm primarily starting with cross stitch, so that will show, you know, my VODs have, are all cross stitching streams. Well, a couple game streams, but they're all cross stitching streams, so. Yeah, I'll have to drop in that application. Just do they have? A, is it linked on the Discord? I know you link it in with your bot in chat occasionally, but I always think, oh, I should go click on that, and then I get distracted with other things because I have my squirrel moments. Squirrel. Thank you, Naka. I appreciate that. 
and then I will take care of it this weekend. Get that going. Let's see. Don't tell me I just lost where I am. Oh no, those are two. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Two full cross stitch. Plus, you know referrals. You can totally say we are vouching for you. So, Naka, Elf, Saren. Excellent. You guys are awesome. I am so happy that I I found found you guys. I'll be honest. Like I, I told Saren once before, and I, I'll say it again on stream. I since I've been posting my cross stitch, and I was doing a Throwback Thursday, I posted my Celestial Dragon, and I was just curious what else had been tagged with that, and I found Saren's um, Instagram with her post of her Celestial Dragon. So I scroll through her pictures, I'm like, oh, that's really cool. And then I saw that she was streaming on Twitch. So I followed her on Instagram and figured out when she was streaming. And then I tossed a follow, and and now you're stuck with me. I'm sorry. You are all stuck with me now. Mwahaha ha ha ha. <laughs> I just kind of need of how um, the social media can can get you to in you know, with people. It's just, I just find it amazing. And now you're stuck with me. <laughs> of course. And then I was able to start, <laughs> girl, you're stuck with us. Well, it works both ways, right? Well, when I'm on Instagram, I always like to see um, what other people are doing that's similar to what I'm doing. Because I'm just, you know, I, I want to see what other people are cross-stitching, things that I'm cross-stitching. Because at least for me, I don't know anyone other than my mom who act and she doesn't do it very much anymore who actively cross stitches. So just to kind of get out there and see what other people were doing with cross stitch and what they're doing similar to what I was doing was kind of neat. So that was. And I think I early on, I think I left a comment on one of your posts, Saren, saying, oh my god, I did this, it's amazing, keep it up. Yeah, I've been, I've been tagging myself in cross stitches of Instagram. I usually tag the pattern I'm working on, the artist, if, they're, if I know it, just and seeing what other people are doing. <laughs> well, I think it was neat because I'd never known anyone else who did a, Ter a Teresa Wensler pattern, and that was just neat to see other people who had were doing or had done the same thing that I did and re I remember the journey to do it and just taking that I was taking that thing everywhere until I got to the beadwork because I was so determined to finish it you're really bad about tags I actually for um for the um the community stitch alongs I actually wrote down the community tags in my stitch journal so that I wouldn't forget them because some of them are, we have a lot of different ones. Like some of them I always remember and others I'm like, oh crap, what was the one for this tag? Oh, I don't remember what we're tagging for this. So I had it written down in my journal so I didn't have to always reference the Discord when I was making my Instagram post. And at first I was really bad with hashtags on an Instagram and now I've kind of fallen more into it. Yeah, most of my posts are cross-stitching of late. I need Once I'm doing more art, I'll be posting more of the other stuff. And I'm probably lacking in dog pictures of, as of late. Because everyone wants to see dog pictures. The problem is I can't get a lot of pictures of her because I'm also wrangling the baby. So the last one I posted was of me collecting the dog after she had been coursing. And that was because someone else had taken it. And I'm like, I'm stealing this for my Instagram. Copy paste your tags. It probably would do more if I actually did most of my Instagram posting on the computer, but I do it from my phone majority of the time. So I sometimes the iPhone gets a, kind of a pain with copy and paste. No, oh, he did appreciate the course he returned fake. I'm glad. Actually, uh, Quiche was asked personally by one of the crown princes that if she could be in her, his procession at coronation because, and he addressed her as the royal hound. I don't know if you can post images on PC. It's 
set up the na phone so you, you type naughty by nature. It automatically fills the rest of my tags. That's cool. And Naka does it from Android. Yeah, well, I got my iPhone back when the only smartphone available on the AT&T network was the iPhone. And I have stayed with it ever since. My husband was an Android user till his job forced him to switch to an iPhone. So he doesn't pay for his phone. You just go edit old paste, copy tags, and paste. Yeah, I could probably do that on the iPhone. I just don't think about that before I do so. That way you can vary it per project. Makes sense. I usually remember what most of my tags are. I'm getting better at it. It's the where I forget is when we're changing projects, like we're going from when we're going from like one uh, seasonal s stitch along to the next. Like I couldn't remember the ones, all the ones for the goose and the different ones for the dogs. Oh, of course, Naka. Are you some strawberry rhubarb ice cream? Ooh, that sounds good. I think we still have some chocolate Tillamook ice cream in the freezer, unless my husband has been eating it without sharing. <laughs> As he yells from the other room that he has not touched it. Yay! You're really bad about associating all the possible tags on your own. Yeah, I get that. I'm probably missing tags that I could be using, but I've I find, for me, I always try tag cross-stitch and cross-stitchers of Instagram. I don't use X-stitch and X-stitchers of Instagram. I could, though. That'd be more tags. I use, I always use, the, I tag DMC because they, they've they been liking a lot of my posts. So I hopefully other people will notice. I tag, I tag the, art, uh, the artist in a hashtag. I usually do the name of the pattern. If it's something special like... Uh, a stitch along or whatnot. I usually tag that as part of the um, hashtags on Instagram. Hello, Fatal. Welcome. How's everything going with your little? He doing better today? Learning how to nap in the right place. I think I have finished that color in this area. Yay! I can move on to another color and move more onto the ruffle butt on the horse. Yeah, that's about where my little one is too. Well, man, actually, I think she's on the floor playing with her uh, one of with her unicorn toy that lights up and makes noise. <laughs> Learning how to drink coffee. Yes, the coffee picture was great. Annika has reached for my um, coffee cup a couple times. They're watching the Last Jedi together. We well, I think uh, I think she's seen a couple of the Star Wars stuff. She's seen all of Star Wars Rebels with us, but we're gonna be saving as she gets older Star Wars till she's a little older, so that we can watch it for the first time together. And we are going to watch it in the machete order. So we are going to watch Star Wars: A New Hope, then Empire Strikes Back, and we're gonna watch Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith. And then Return of the Jedi. Because... That is, and forget about the Phantom Menace, because that never happened. By watching it in that order, you pr preserve a lot of the big spoilers and reveals with Star Wars. And still... Um, can enjoy the story. That fabric is dyed, and in the washing machine, yay, more fabric! Is this a new one, or a, that one that somebody ordered? Uh, where am I? X. Yes, the lightsaber fight in um, the Duel of the Fate scene is actually pretty awesome in um, Phantom Menace. And I will acknowledge that. And I enjoy visually the pod race was fun too. But the rest of the film totally not needed. <laughs> it's weird that the, that the weird size when someone ordered a Jacko fabric, two pieces of 13 by 36. I wonder what they're going to do with it. I totally intend to tag your, um, your Etsy shop Instagram when I start using that fabric for my mermaid's um, my mermaid Sal, because I want to definitely expose it. Thank you, Cujo, for posting the suggested Star Wars viewing order. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm not familiar with Lizzie Kate designs, but that will be interesting. Oh, hey, Mom! Welcome! Speaking of pumpkins, it's like you knew. We were talking about Jacko fabric, which is a very pretty Halloween-y dyed fabric. And then my mom says, hi, pumpkin. I'm her pumpkin. So... Glad you can finally make it again. I know you've been busy with um, Shrek and whatnot. You don't know if you'll see it in theaters, but you do want to see Solo. Yes, I do want to see Solo as well. Um, been seeing a lot of the, the teasers for it recently at work. We get that fed all the time through the TVs. I was... It was really bad when the Rogue One trailer came out and the first one with the alarm and that was all you would hear. And it's like, oh my gosh, can we not listen to see this trailer anymore? Wow, and watching streams. It's been forever. Yay! You were just there putting out fires. Oh yeah. Well, isn't that a costumer's job is to put out fires when needed on a show? All right, so where are... I figured out where I was going next, and then I distracted myself. Now you just need one... need a drink of choice. Yes, tea, um, something more adult, coffee, water's always a good one. Yay! I'm glad you could pop in, Mom. I appreciate you coming in and watching. You working on anything tonight, or are you just kind of relaxing and not worrying about anything? Let's see. I'm hoping I can get a lot of this saddle blocked in. I really want to move into the part that's over here. It's all ruffles and there's flowers. I'll get to do another color besides brown and blue. I get to do some green, which is kind of ironic because I was I was complaining about all the green and the goose for a while, and now I'm anxious to get back to doing green. It's kind of funny how that all comes full circle. I think it's true that whatever you're working on, if it's a single color, you get tired of that color for a while and you want to move on to other colors and do other things. You're working, oh, you're working on Cujo stuff. So my mom is working on a brand new doublet for Cujo so that we can do some um, Elizabethan costumes. It's going to match um, a surcoat that I that, that my mom helped me make last year that I wore while I was pregnant because when you're pregnant you cannot wear a corset or you should not wear a corset and I wasn't going to. Got to have coffee today. It's not just causing uh, it's not causing Atticus issues. Yay! He may be over the problem, so now I just want to have all the coffee and not water, but still drink all the water. That's the great thing about Pokemon. There's no huge blocks of color per page except for black and white. Yay! It's food and it's left the rest of the night. Nice. Yeah. Annika has been super fussy. We're pretty. Sh sh she's cut teeth on the bottom, and we're pretty sure she's going to cut teeth on the top. And once that happens, I think everyone's going to be a lot happier, including her. Because she's not sleeping well at all. Because it, it hurts. Poor little thing. Yeah, both Cujo and I aren't sleeping as well. Um, he gets to sleep a little bit better because she usually stirs and gets me first. So, unless I've had a rough night and then it's like, okay, it's your turn. You go hold her for a bit and then I'll nurse her back to sleep. Unfortunately, that's the one problem. Since I am choosing to nurse, I do get most of the baby duty at night and whatnot, because that's what she wants.
Aiden's cutting more teeth too, keeps biting everything. If I take chunks out of my shoulders or biting my toe. <laughs> Love you too, Bo. But yeah, bite all the things. Got to eat all the things. I can only imagine how painful it is. Because we don't remember that. I'm glad. I think after I do this color, I'm going to do the lighter color in there so that I don't lose where I'm going with this. And then another one and one. So right now, with the move coming up, my goal is to at least get into this section here because I think that will be a little more fun. And then while well, I'm taking the break from streaming so that I can move, it will be on hold and we'll pick it up again after I get my streaming space set up and we get back from the camping event. And then come by the time June rolls around, we'll be back into the swing of things. I'll probably know how my schedule and my commute is going to work out so that I will be able to plan around my streaming schedule as well. You had a rough time in cutting your adult teeth. I can only imagine how bad it was for baby teeth. Then again, not all of my teeth pushed the baby teeth out. Some of them cut behind. Um, my, teeth all, my teeth came in late, so I didn't get start losing teeth until later as well. And then I had very crooked teeth. I had, thank you mom for the orthodontia. Um, so my teeth are much better because yay yeah, orthodontics and once um, the doctor started moving my teeth around all my baby teeth fell out because <laughs> all the movement and my wisdom teeth never came all the way in um, or never came in I had to have those extracted baby might still be hungry oh, of course Vitale take the time you need and do what you need to do baby comes first unfortunately sometimes but that's why we love them we take care of them So this particular pattern uh, has a lot of three-quarter cross stitches, which great adds for some great um, curved lines and shaping, but sometimes it makes for difficulty with reading where exactly where I am on the pattern. It's very, I find it can be very easy to miss a three-quarter stitch here and there, especially on these patterns that are hand-drawn and sometimes difficult to read. I know I've missed a couple already in this section here, but once I pick up those colors again, I'm going to go back and work through here as well. I just haven't been ready to go back in that f that colors yet. So actually, you don't sign up to take care of baby first, and still end up doing so. You love your niece, but didn't sign up for it. Yeah, that's always difficult. I can only imagine. I'm glad that I had a good head on my shoulders thanks to my mom and my brother as well so we never had that in our lives I'm sure my mom is very thankful that we didn't have any unex any un as unplanned babies or think in that sense hi house of eggs welcome Hope you're having a good day, or even, I guess we're into the evening. I hope that you're having a happy Friday. The whining in the background is my little one. Just call you Zix. Sorry, I, I'm doing well myself, and thank you for the follow, Zix. I appreciate that. Welcome. I'm Kaya, or Kayariana. I am working on a... Uh, pattern by Teresa Wensler. It is Summer Carousel Horse. We're about um, two weeks um, two weeks in. Uh, I've been streaming approximately two hours so we're probably probably a little under 14 hours into this. 
as well. Ah, uh, hey Sandy Lou Who. Oh, and thank you. The saddle. Ah, it's finally coming together. Sudden influx of faces. Yay! Welcome. You love the pattern. You have a couple of her patterns. Yeah, uh, I've done a couple of patterns by Teresa Wensler, and this is my third one that I'm finally getting around to starting. I purchased this and uh, this, the four carousel horses and the carousel on eBay, just some old leaflets, a couple, um, a few years ago, because I saw them, and the price was, the price for the five patterns was cheaper than buying them online through patterns online and you can't get the winter horse currently in patterns online so since they were leaflets I didn't have any qualms about buying it on eBay and I purchased it and I have it and I was so happy yeah I'm, I always say be careful when you're looking at cross stitch patterns on eBay you want to make sure that you are giving the artists their their due you have your Rapunzel half done. Are you stuck in confetti hell on the Rapunzel? Because if it's anything like any of her others, they're f full of so much confetti. This one hasn't been too, too bad. It's been splotchy and more continuous. I haven't run into a lot of confetti yet, which is kind of awesome, which is very, to me, uncharacteristic of her. And this, this must be one of her earlier patterns where she hadn't quite gotten into the confetti yet. She okay, Cujo? Do I need to take Do I need to take a break? All right. Um, I'm gonna take a, a quick break. Well, uh, as quick as possible break. My little one's a little upset. Needs a little bit of mommy time. And yeah, he started in high school, and decades later, it's still not done. That seems to be the case for a lot of us with Teresa Wensler. It's like we start them and we don't finish them. So I'm just going to establish these half stitches so I know where I am. And I'm going to take a break so that I can take care of my little one for a bit so poor Cujo, my husband, <laughs> doesn't go crazy too quickly. So I'm going to throw up my break screen and I will be back soon.
<laughs> taking breaks to <laughs> like a human being. It, it wasn't for me, Naka. It was for the tiny human because my husband, Kujo, could not give her exactly what she needed. And now she's ready to go to bed. Thank you. Yes, I'm back and working more. Somehow we ended up with some pseudo Christmas music. So yeah, got, getting jumping back into the carousel horse, seeing how far we can get tonight. Luckily, I get to sleep in tomorrow. I use the term sleep in loosely. It all depends on the baby. Yay, a Graveler taking shape. Awesome. I really have been enjoying watching your Pokemon stitch so much that I went and looked at the Pokemon patterns and going, I could stitch that. And I'm going, no, you shouldn't stitch that, Kaya. That's a bad idea. You don't need an epic project. But I'm going, but it would be fun. Just think of how much fun it would be. Oh. Kujo's going to take Annika for a, a walk, and she's not happy about that. <laughs> Naka, great idea. No, I was looking, and the big massive one could totally get fabric big enough if I did it the way um, Elf is doing it, one over one, or two over one. So, it's either half stitches or do one over one full stitches. It would totally fit on fabric. It's a bad idea. It's a terrible idea. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. But I kind of secretly want to do it. What pattern are you going to get? So uh, something Alpha has been working on this massive Pokemon um, stitch that's really cool that Lord L Libidin, Libidin has put together as a free stitch, but he's also got one that is all five generations of Pokemon is one gigantic stitch. And it would be like three yards wide and like, oh no, no, sorry, three feet wide, so a yard wide, and it would be huge. Well, based on the math, that based on the stitch count and everything that I saw Naka, it would fit using the pattern. But We'll see. It's that's way back burner. I'll download the pattern so I have it, but it's super way back burner and super must get some other things done and under my belt before I even think about it type of stuff. Yeah, go up and go. That was that was me looking at twenty eight count um one over one. Do the E V uh Heaven Earth design. Yeah, that one's pretty but I have so many different projects that I want to do that I probably need to get those done before I even think about doing something so massive. As, as my friends will probably start saying, you should do it anyway. Yes, join us on the evolution stitch. It's tempting, but I don't know if I'm quite ready to do a I Okay, skill-wise, I can do a heaven and earth designs pattern. I know I f can physically do it. Mentally is whether I can do it or not. Whether I can convince myself that I can work on a pattern like that. Yes, Naka, you are hepping. You are totally hepping. It's, it's just full X's. Yeah, I know. Like I said, it's not the skill because having done a couple Teresa Wenslers and working on Even Weave, I'm sure that I could do it. It's a matter of time right now. Maybe I'll give you guys enough of a head start on the Eevee. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not an issue of whether I physically can do the stitch. It's a matter of whether I mentally can do the stitch and have the time to do the stitch. It's I, I'm lucky right now. I have my job, I'm in a position I can do a lot of stitching at work. Um, between my breaks, uh, again, I'm a nursing mom, so I get... I get the breaks to take care of all that. So 
I stitch while I'm doing that because there's nothing else to do. So I do get a lot of stitching done at work. But I would never take something like that to work. So it'd be a matter of whether I'm ready to sit down and do something so massive. Yes, yeah, spare time is rare. You're working on three saws that you want to keep to date and keeping a toddler and baby alive. Yeah. And which is why I find myself staying up later than I want to because I just need a little bit of time to stitch to work on something else. And do all that. But yeah, I'm with you, Elf. I'm surprised Naka has time to stitch. I'm always impressed with how well you juggle the children and the dogs and the stitching. So, Naka, you get all the bonus mommy points because you're awesome. Yay, Eevee Madness. Yeah, your house is a mess. But are your kids happy? The only reason our, our place isn't a complete disaster is that everything is currently going into boxes. So those of you who have recently joined and are following the first time, I bounced on Wednesday that my husband and I, Kuja, Kuja, my husband, and I have found a new place to live. We are moving into a bigger place. We're currently in a one bedroom and we're moving into a two bedroom. So we'll have more room and for a while I'll have some dedicated stream space. So with that, um, our, our, our apartment is currently going into boxes. Uh, we're going to be moving on the 19th. So yeah, we're really excited about new home and thank you. So Luckily, I'm still able to stream for right now. I'm hoping I can stream uh, at least one day, maybe two, the week be week we move. But we'll we'll play it by ear. Uh, kids are no, your kids are miserable and neglected. Aiden is even allowed to eat glitter chalk. Poor kid, Kappa. <laughs> I know moms are the worst, not letting their kids eat things. But yeah, we're really hey, yeah, really excited about the move. Um, Moving really stresses me out. Uh, I do have anxiety problems, and the idea of getting everything packed, I don't see the small stuff. I see the giant, everything is out in the apartment. I've got to get this in a million boxes and ready to go on a truck. And that, the idea of that completely stresses me out. Luckily, I have the best husband in the world, and he works remotely while watching the baby while he's working remotely a couple days. And he's been packing up a lot of the apartment while I've been at work and I I tell him so much how amazing he is and he is going to since he's out with the baby I'm getting him a bottle of scotch that he likes for Father's Day because he totally deserves it he's been such an amazing dad from day one he admitted way too much you were trying to wet glitter off his junk <laughs> like god damn it kid <laughs> that's a story for the future girlfriends oh yeah Oh. Hang on. I've got to let the dog get. I'm just going to put my headset down and let the dog get to the water bowl. It's okay, Keish. You're The dog was very upset that she couldn't quite get to her water bowl. And now she can get to her water bowl and she's happy. That's what you do for your husband. He is incredible and I get him his favorite whiskey when I can say thanks. Yeah, it's usually... Though the problem is trying to figure out which one. He's got a, a bottle of a couple of his favorites already. Because that's usually a Christmas gift or a birthday gift as I get him his favorite scotch. So it's a matter of probably going to my friend who's a bit of a whiskey expert and saying, hey, I want to get Cujo a bottle of whiskey. I want to spend about this much on the whiskey. What do you recommend? <laughs> Hang on. Now the dog is getting into something she shouldn't be getting into. Be right back.
If it's not the baby, it's the dog. She found a bowl that had rice in it, and she really wanted the rice. <laughs> that is really funny, Sandy Lou. <laughs> and welcome back, Fatal. Also, if I ha you haven't been here before, I do have a greyhound. It is We have a, a dog. We adopted a greyhound last year. And she's amazing, but she is kind of ridiculous. So, And like all greyhounds, a little bit derpy. Because, face it, greyhounds are kind of derpy dogs at times. Oh, what up, girl? You're still up. I heart you too. Welcome. Thank you for stopping in to say hi. I wish I could have stayed in your stream longer, but I, it's tough sometimes at work to follow all the streams. Gotta show my love to everybody. <laughs> yeah, it's only 11. Yeah, I was able to jump in a little earlier today. I got home earlier, and the baby's been okay. So, no, <laughs> you work, I know. Yeah, I know. I just, I'd rather sit and watch everyone stream and talk, and it's way more fun. It's way more fun to watch people stream than to have to work. But I know, I gotta make that, that, that money so that I can stream, right? So I've been working a little more on the horse. We're getting the saddle more filled in. Got some of this ruffly bits here so that I can move on to the ruffly bits here, which we've now dubbed the ruffle butt of the horse. I just said uh, someone that was working hard got to feel it. Yay! Oh, d we got, we pushed, um, that was, oh, who was that? I think I went and liked her today. Um, Scarlet Letter, right? We pushed her to get affiliate. And now I am, I'm getting close. I wanted to say I'm, <laughs> I'm getting, I have less than 20 people I have to get. And I'm working on it. I've got all the other requirements. I've had enough viewers. Thank you guys so much. Um, I've been able to stream at least eight hours over the month. I've been able to stream. What's I forget what the other requirement was, but yeah, that's where I've, I've been pushing. So just kind of pop in and say hi to people, and and trying to tune into as many streams as I can, just so that I'm around and telling people everything and I'm sure it seems like most people here are familiar with one up girl but in case um, you're not she is an amazing streamer herself she's full of energy and it's such a joy to watch on camera uh, she makes perler art and does a little bit of crocheting and it is it is a fun time to hang out with her in her stream and her community so I I would highly if you aren't following her and aren't checking her out um, you should definitely go check her out because I, I think she's great. Uh, Fatal, when you get affiliate, you can have people sub subscribe to your channel and people can cheer you bits as well. So you can start working your way to actually doing a little more with Twitch in, only, in so many days of the month. Yes. So yeah, I didn't know if, if I would even be something I could even achieve. Um, but everyone has been so amazing and so supportive that I think it's great. I've just been slowly coming in every every day. I have one or two more viewers in between streams just because of everyone. Uh, just the crafting and creative community on Twitch is amazing. Everyone is so supportive of each other, telling everyone to check everybody out. And I've just been so flattered. <laughs> and it's been so amazing how awesome everyone is. It's kind of a, it's a joy to be a part of such an amazing community on Twitch, so. Oh, my poor little one is, she's been teething, so she's, she's not been a happy little camper. My poor little one. And let's see, who else do I, I have Saren in here, who's an amazing streamer, who I, would gush about in a heartbeat because she's kind of what got me into this um, 
into watching things on Twitch and meeting this whole amazing community. Um, Naka streams when she isn't wrangling her small children. El um, something Elf streams, uh, her cross stitch as well. She if anyone else that I don't know well streams, please go ahead and give yourself a small shout out because this community is amazing and I am so happy to be a part of it here on Twitch. Their knees are not liking the hardwood floor at work. Yeah, I get that feeling. If you have to, uh, Kujo, you can move my purse. He's rearranging the boxes again. We had He built a box fort so that the baby couldn't get in here while I was streaming. But I had to open the box fort so the dog could get to her water bowl. And since I'm talking to everyone, I'm losing my spot. But don't worry, I think I've got it. I don't think I'm going to have to frog any stitches. <laughs> oh, please, he built the box fort because he wanted the box fort. <laughs> Is that true, Cujo? You built the box fort because you wanted the box fort? <laughs> he says he would have done that around the couch if, um, if that was true. You totally just had an idea, Elf. <laughs> Should I be afraid of Elf's idea? To clean up your background for face cam, you could build a blanket fort. Yes, a blanket fort would be amazing. Elf's blanket fort stream. Put a fan in there, and it'll be nice. There's actually kits that help you build frames. Yeah, I've seen those. Man, when I was a kid, we just stole all the cushions off the couch and a blanket, and that was our blanket fort. really like the way the color gradation has gone on this saddle it it's really pretty all right then we'll get to move into the really light color you don't have any cushions you can steal off the couch so you'll have to get high tech well you can um, sure getting some PVC pipe and stuff you make a frame isn't too bad and actually once uh, I start doing my um, my silk painting. I do heraldic um, style flags on silk, and I use a PVC frame, and I stretch the silk across it so I have a nice surface to work on. Definitely want to do some of those on stream. I've got three commissions for sure, um, possibly a fourth, kind of sitting on the back burner. That the people who asked me to do banners for them all know that what it was all like oh when you get a chance we totally understand you're having a baby so my goal is to have a couple of those banners done before the cam medieval camping event that we go to in October so that people can display their awesome banners so people know where they are cuz heraldry is awesome all right so we are moving into a blended color which is a blend of a very light um, blue and ivory. So it's going to look very light, but it's going to fill in a little more of that ruffle so that we can get closer to doing the ruffle bit. Um, actually, Zix, um, I, I'm in the SCA. I am my, um, my local Baronese Herald. Um, I'm out in the Kingdom of Kaid to give you an idea of um, Southern California area. So um, we're actually going to Potrero War at the end of the month, and then Great Western War is in October, which is the war that we'll be doing. <laughs> Yay, more Skadians! Now, the SCA is the Society for Creative Anachronism. Um, it is medieval recreation 
more than reenactment because we aren't actually reenacting battles, but we are recreating the Middle Ages and learning about the everything that has to do with it. Uh, what kingdom are you in, Zix? I, I'm as a herald. I'm pretty familiar with the known world. Uh, um, hi, hi, dad through mom. I saw so is my mom. So and I'm so, and the high B is probably from my dad. My dad calls me his BB girl, so I'm B for short. And uh, Zix, I don't make it to too many Out of Kingdom Wars. Um, I did make it to um, Estrella War, not this last one, but the year before. I'm a little harder with the baby right now, but eventually my plan is to get to further out and have and see more things. Oh, awesome, Aidenvelt. So, yay, neighbors. Yeah, we'd like to get back to Estrella War. <laughs> That was a lot of fun. It was a weird war for me because I didn't get to drink because I was pregnant. Um, <laughs> so it was really weird walking around at night at war with a glass of water. Or I always had a lot of ginger beer because ginger ale is awesome for, was awesome for my stomach. Yeah, he wasn't keen on the new location. It's been at Schnepp Farms for a while, hasn't it? Yeah, I, I went and hung out with um, Known World um, Rapier uh, and hung out with those guys. I do um, I do historical fencing. I do rapier combat. So I spend a lot of my time with the fencers. <laughs> now you think about it, it has been a while. I was with Rolling Thunder. For, okay, yeah, I've, I've heard of Rolling Thunder. I'm actually... As it goes, I'm relatively new to the SCA. I joined the SCA when I met my husband. He got me involved in it. That's actually how we met. We met at a war. And <laughs> he kind of dragged me the rest of the way in because I had been kind of fringe wanting to do it, but not knowing enough people that I was willing to get involved. And I went to an event, met my husband. We went on a date and he brought me to a fighter practice and then got me in um, fencing armor. And then I was stuck. So I, and then I remember at my very first event meeting, um, not yet the Baron of the local barony and him telling me that someday I would be an officer and I'm going, no, I'm never going to be an officer in the SCA. No, that's not my thing. Yeah. I, I decided I wanted to be the Herald. <laughs> so. Yeah, it gets harder as um, as you get older. Luckily, my uh, my husband was pretty involved. When I met him, he was in charge of um, the rapier combat in the barony, and now he's doing web right stuff. Hey, you know the SCA is always there when you're ready to come back. I understand that life gets in the way, and I'd love to do more than I do, but I actually have done quite a bit lately, kind of behind the scenes, not so much publicly, but I've done a lot of uh, work fixing some of the clerical stuff um, in my group, so in terms of heraldry, so I got all that fixed, and I'm never going to do it again, because it was so much work, <laughs> but it is so much fun, but yeah. You realize even on Twitch how much of a small world it is, and it's always awesome when you run into someone who has similar interests as you, and whether it be crafting or stuff you do outside of Twitch. So that that's awesome. Let's see, where are we going next? We're going over here. There we go. So it's a little hard to tell, but once the back stitching gets laid in, 
this is all going to be roughly half your street has no power. Luckily, it's not your half. That's awesome. Uh, that's terrible that no, they don't have power, but awesome that it's not affecting you. When we fish to war was held at Estrella Mountain Park, and it was beautiful there. Uh, my husband tells the stories of um, the great muddy Estrella at Canyon Moon Ranch before they moved to Schnepp Farms. <laughs> But, yeah, I've only went to that one time la last year, which I had a blast. I, I don't get me wrong, I had a blast. I was still able to do some fencing and the melee fighting, and I got asked to be their majesty's herald. Um, so I got to herald in my kingdom's procession into um, court, which was kind of awesome. Gone Freeze, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Um, my name is. Uh, I've seen you in I think in um, One Up Girls channel, and um, I'm Kai Ariana, and I do cross stitching. You can call me Kaya for short. We're working on Summer Carousel Horse, um, a cross stitch pattern by Teresa Wensler, which I started a couple weeks ago. <laughs> one Up Girl. Oh, One Up Girl, you're so sweet. Thank you for sending in the troops. Oh. You're gonna, you're gonna make me cry. It just happy tears because that's just this is this is so amazing. Everyone in this community is absolutely amazing. I think Gon gifted me the sub to One Up's channel, and which I greatly appreciate. It. It's it's <laughs> no, these are happy tears. Happy tears, good good tears, good crying. <laughs> oh, that 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 is it's so awesome. Yeah, the creative community is awesome. I do watch a couple of streamers in the gaming community, and they don't, I mean, they support each other, but they don't support new people. It's like they get their click, and that's it. And I enjoy watching them. There's, there's some really nice people, and some of their streams are really awesome. But the, the creative community is even better about promoting people and just making sure that everyone is supported and I love it I'm really been enjoying finding people who do similar crafts to me people who do crafts that are different than what I do and just seeing how everyone supports each other in community it is it is absolutely amazing and if you're not streaming and you want to with the creative community I went from doing Thing. Oh yeah, I think I'd like to stream to my husband going, yeah, you could totally stream and helping me get set up and Sarah and Adia and her community kind of helping me get going and figuring things out, looking at some of my, my scenes and my artwork and letting me know how it looked, being there when I did my dress rehearsal live chess stream to, to being here as I've been just getting off the ground and rambling. <laughs> think it goes back to the old mentality of crafting circles uh, we all network and grow yes it it's definitely kind of it, it's all about building each other up and making sure everyone is successful and having fun and it's definitely those those sitting those stitching and knitting circles and talking to each other that's one of the things I enjoy is semi lurking in people's uh, streams as I work on my own crafts it kind of talking sometimes or just hanging out and looking at what other people are doing. And I didn't realize with not knowing any active cross stitchers uh, in my area, I didn't realize I was missing that in um, in my community and what I needed. So once I found that circle, I was like, yeah, this is what I needed. And yeah, the creative community is amazing. And just everyone is super supportive of each other and helping everyone get off the ground. So I think it's great. So you guys keep rocking and being awesome. All right, where are we? Let's see, where are we going next? I'm going to have to pick up on the other side. No worries. You wish you could win the lotto so you buy this old barn up the road and create this little coffee shop crafting area. Yeah, I've got friends who talk about building 
community compounds and living in, you know, our own communes and just <laughs> crafting or doing whatever as we all support each other. It'd be, it'd be awesome. I wish I had, I find that when I do craft outside of um, the SDA or outside of other places, people kind of look at you like, what are you doing? This is an archaic thing. Not so much with the knitters and the crocheters, I find, but the people who are cross-stitching or doing other embroidery, people just kind of look at them like, what are you doing? And some people ask me, you know, people have asked me about how I, because I, I do counted cross-stitch. This is counted. I folded my fabric in half twice, found the center, counted out, and started from there. I've never worked on a stamp pattern. My mom taught me how to cross-stitch, how to read a pattern. And I learned all the rest on my own, figured things out, made mistakes, have messy backs. <laughs> and, but people ask me about how I, how I know where I'm going. I say, I'm following this pattern and I'm just counting. And some people look at you completely mystified, like, how is this a thing? How are you even doing this? And it kind of makes you smile. People ask me about it at work. Uh, people ask me, uh, when I used to travel by train to work, I would cross-stitch on the train. The conductors thought it was cool. And some of the other people would be surprised that I was cross-stitching. Or people like, oh, I did that as a kid, or my mom did it, or any of that. <laughs> but not people. And so I've even had people go, oh, I used to cross-stitch. I should get back into that. And I'm like, yeah, you totally should. It's awesome. Counting is hard, especially casting in on 200 plus stitches in knitting. Counting that much is hard. Yeah, I can imagine. I have tried knitting. Um, I could cast on to the needle, and then I got to the point where, like, I'm not quite sure what I do next. It. I've tried both knitting and crocheting. I have crocheted a small baby blanket type. Well, not even a baby blanket. It was a doll blanket I made. And I did it. I was able to keep my sides even, but it really didn't hold my interest and I didn't really find myself enjoying it a lot so I haven't picked it up again but I do like I do wish I could do knitting or, or something or crochet just because it seems to be a little easier to travel with than the cross stitching um, you're not because with cross stitching at least you f I f you're counting a lot and you're switching colors and depending on what you're crocheting you're not uh, doing that quite as much it seems I could be completely wrong and talking completely you know because that's not something I actively do plus I'm pretty sure my husband would be kind of upset if I increased my craft stash to include yarn you need to make more flowers you have nowhere near enough that's right you're making a blanket with little um, cherry blossoms or flowers like that. Elf. <laughs> so, yeah. And I have dabbled in other forms of embroidery besides cross stitch. I've tried black work, I've tried Cruel um, embroidery, C R E W E L, cruel. Uh, I've tried some freehand stuff, and just I really prefer the counted work. And most people would say, "Oh, because you like counted work, you should love black black work." And I just get bored with black work. I like back stitching. I enjoy doing it in the cross stitching, but with the black work. It's fun. It's for me. It was really simple because I already know how to do a lot of that, but I just didn't find it interesting. You love seeing cherry blossoms as they bloom. They look so similar to what you've crocheted so far. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm sure, if I really wanted to get into crochet, I'm sure my mom would help me, but I don't have any of the tools for it. I don't have any really any yarn. So that's a uh, something else I don't need to get into. Fabric is now hanging to dry. They came out great, if you do say so yourself. And what Naka's talking about, for those of you who don't know, Naka um, makes, um, does hand dyeing of fabric for cross stitch, and it's absolutely gorgeous. 
Um, I don't have links enabled, and here, let me pull up that link so that we can, that I can share that, because if anyone wants to look, let's see, it's, I just ordered some myself from Naka, and let's see, where is Naka's? There's Naka's shop. So if you haven't checked this out, this is Naka's um, Etsy shop and she does hand dyed fabric and it is absolutely gorgeous. Not only will she, if you order what she has, she does take um, custom orders as well. I just ordered a piece from her. It's actually right here. So I will show it off again since we're, we're gushing about how awesome Naka is. It's a little hard to see because it is a marbled, I think this, it's, it's a marbled uh, white with kind of a gray marbling. So it's, it does not hold justice on camera at all. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to be doing a um, another stitch along on it. It's by Peacock and Fig. It is their their mermaid stitch along, and it's all salty mermaids. The first one is it has to do with a mermaid and her complaining about her her ass being cold sitting on the, uh, a a fucking rock. So there is also PG thirteen uh, more of PG words that go with it, but I'm totally stitching it with not the PG. So, yeah, definitely check out Naka's work. It's gorgeous. And she's if she's got her the fabric in stock, she's quick to get it out cuz she she we order and then she dies based on what the fabric she's already got in her stash for that purpose. And then she ships it out once it's ready. I think I I ordered it on the 30th and I got it I want to say on Tuesday. So I ordered it yeah, I got it. I ordered it. It got here super quick, and it was amazing. You just fell in love with dyeing fabric. Having the Etsy means I get to have fun with it more often. Yeah, and you get to see your people, other people work on, do stuff with your work as well. So when I finally do start that stitch, I will be tagging her shop on Instagram in it as well, so people can see where she they got the fabric. And I am at Kayariana on Instagram. All of my work, um, all my cross-stitching work, and some of my other works, as well as my dog, and sometimes my tea obsession, usually around Christmas time, shows up on my Instagram. So feel free to give that a follow if you want to see more up-to-date pictures as well. Once I move, I am going to set up my own Discord where if people do want to join, they can, and I'll have up-to-date pictures there as well. So that that's all. There's a lot of stuff that's kind of in a holding pattern until I move. Then I'll have a little more time and space. Well, maybe not time, but space to set some of that up so that it's taken care of. So bear with me. Yeah, things on my to-do list are to get the stream elements bought up and figured out just have to sit down and spend some time doing it. I also need to set up a Discord just to have a space for community who, if I'm not in other Discords that you are in, that you can find me as well. My husband has a Discord, but I really don't think, um, which he uses to do play PUBG with some of his friends. And, and his friends are kind of awesome, but it's not really where... <laughs> I think I would prefer to be for... Did I make a mistake? Or did I already stitch that? No, no mistakes. Oh, I see what I did. Okay. I am going to... going to pick that out. I'm actually going to clip it because and figure it out later.
There we go. There, that will work because I can just stitch over the back here. There we go. Alright, so now the question is, do I want to do more brown or do a little bit more blue? I'm leaning toward a little bit more blue because that will finish off this ruffle here. You're going uh, quite fast in this considering you're doing it on stream only for now. Oh, thank you! Um, uh, it's a quite a big stitch. I'm actually quite impressed. I'm kind of impressed with myself of how well I'm getting this done. I'd like to keep it to stream partly because it will help me kind of document how long it takes. But we'll see how that progresses and how I feel about other projects as I move on. And then how when I actually start doing other creative endeavors besides cross stitch on stream, whether I will be able to keep up with that momentum. Let's see what color we're we doing next. We're doing the tr um, the th not filled in triangle, which is this color. Seven seven five. I'm just glad that this stitch is looking like more than just a blob that if you know that this is a carousel horse that you can tell that this is a saddle and that kind of makes me excited that's one of the things i love about cross stitching is watching it evolve from blobs of color gee you didn't see enough 775 on the goose yeah actually this is all i have left from the goose it's like two two strands so i have a whole nother skein for this one, and I'm like, oh look, more 775. Okay. It's okay, I'm using, I'm doing this koi fish stitch, and it uses a lot of 3325 for some of the water confetti, and when that showed up in the goose stitch, I'm like, no, no more 3325, it's everywhere. <laughs> So what Elf is talking about is for um, spring, um, Moonlit Meadows, um, Sarah Nadia's community has done a stitch along. And it wasn't like a monthly one where we get a por portion of the pattern every month. It was just a pattern and we all started it up around the first day of spring. So, which was I think March 20th or 21st, I don't remember. You literally use the last of your 7 set 5 on the goose. You had to get another skein. Yeah, so we all have been stitching on the goose. Elf was the first to finish. Um, I finished mine up this week, I think. I'm kind of... The weeks are starting to blur together, so I think I finished it this week. I know I finished it... Yes, I finished it on the 30th. So. And... So that, and which is also on my Instagram, if you if you want to check out the goose, I've posted in a couple discords. So if you're in some of the um, shared creative discords, it's in there as well. Let's see. And it's a really cute goose. He's in a he's a bunch of tulips, and it was it was a really fun stitch to work on. <laughs> it's okay, one up girl. 
All your power is flickering. Oh, if you need to go, by all means, I understand. Don't want to fry your computer for the power outage or anything like that. Tornado warnings, wow. Yeah, you, you guys be safe. Safety first, streaming later. Somebody's playing with the light switch. Didn't someone... Someone tells you... <laughs> no light switch raves. We did not install the light switch so that you could have light switch raves. Yeah, stay safe. Yeah, tornadoes are kind of something that I mystify me. I, growing up in Southern California, we have earthquakes occasionally. They're not they're not that scary. So seriously, they're not that scary. And but the idea of tornadoes just is like what? What the, the wind, the the rain, and the they do what? <laughs> yeah. We light on fire here. Yeah, we light on fire here as well. Um, and then it we get a little bit of rain and thus mud. There's a great website. Is CaliforniaOnFire.com. Check it out. I'll tell you the answer. Hi, Keish. What you doing? Keish is my greyhound. She does not do well getting up into camera view, so I won't torture the poor dog. But maybe once we get into the bigger place, I'll ha she'll be in a position where I can bring her and over and say hi a little more often. Heck, she may even want to hang out with mom while she's streaming if that gets her away from the baby. You don't know what was sent last. We were telling you to be safe, one up girl. And if you need to go duck out to be safe, it is totally okay. We all understand. I think I've made a mistake. Because that is... Okay, that's... There... Yes, there's a mistake in here. Easy fix. Sorry. Yeah, go to bed, don't kill your computer. That's that I think that is a brilliant idea. I do appreciate you coming in and tossing your your support my way. I greatly appreciate that. Yeah, I'm probably going to go for about another 20 minutes or so. Finish up this color definitely and then think about bed and whatnot myself. I have to get up. When I work, I have to get up really early to get myself ready and have everything ready for the baby before I go to work. Hopefully once she gets a little older, I won't have to have such a long morning routine, but we'll see. 
It just means I go to bed earlier. Definitely gonna get this color finished up, and depending on how long it takes, will depend on what my next move is. Probably gonna think about bed. I have been up since 5:15 or so Pacific time. I had to. I didn't work that early. I, had to, I started work at 8 o'clock this morning, which isn't too bad, but when you've got so many other things you have to take care of before you go to work, you got to get up early. And that's just the way it is sometimes. So my plans for streaming, um, I did have, I think I, I have not posted my schedule for next week yet on my channel, which I will do this weekend to have an idea of um, when I'll be streaming. It may be kind of vary on how we are doing packing, because if we do need to do some more packing, I will have to sacrifice stream time to help my husband pack as you know and get my stuff packed. So far, he's okay with handling a lot of it for me, as long as I take care of my stuff and get my corner packed. Probably going to get a lot of my cross-stitch stuff packed down and put away. Um, coming up this weekend. Going to leave out pro projects I intend to have accessible are my fish my fish stitch, uh, my the dogs through time stitch they're working on because that gets released just before we move and I would be very disappointed if I wasn't able to access that right when it came out. So going to have that one ready to go. And this one will be out until I put all my streaming stuff away. Luckily, a lot of, I'm pretty sure a lot of my streaming stuff can fit in my laptop backpack. Um, except for this, the, I do have a second monitor set up to my laptop to do from, which I'm doing my streaming from. So, it'll be interesting. Definitely we'll have a box labeled streaming stuff, which will get moved directly into the office space that we're going to, I'm going to be streaming in. And when we, after we move, I probably will not stream that next week because that, f after we move the following weekend, we are going to be going camping, um, going to a SCA war. And that's just immediate boom. Move, go to war, and then come back and deal with it. So it's going to be, it's going to be a long couple of weeks. It's going to be totally worth it. And if any of the people, any of you guys are streaming, of course, if I'm available, I will try to tune in, hang out, maybe a bit of lurky turkey, so that I, you know, can be around, which is totally awesome. I thought you usually move after war. Yeah, that would be ideal, but we, um... We wanted to get we want to get in as soon as we po possible because that will kind of settle things out with uh, childcare for my daughter and <laughs> and actually it's move war um, major local event and then there's like two weeks off and then it's coronation so we've got this jam packed summer coming up and luckily after the end of June I don't think we have anything going on major planned until. September. Harold playing with them switches. <laughs> yeah. Though, oh, okay, other than Major, um, my daughter does turn one in August, so we will have to do something for her for her first birthday, of course, 
which I realized that first birthday parties are really more for parents and the parent and the family than they are for the baby because the baby's not going to remember their first birthday. Uh, I, that's kind of exciting that we she will have survived a year. We did not murder her. There are times she's lucky she's cute. <laughs> So when you say Harold um, gone, I immediately think of the Abominable Snowman at the Matterhorn at Disneyland in California, because that is his name. <laughs> and I could totally see Harold um, playing with light switches, because that would be something that the Abominable Snowman would do. <laughs> oh, Harold's your kitty. getting there. It's kind of fun, this little roughly bit. And then we move in, and I know everyone thinks I'm saying roughly but, which, there is roughly but, I promise. It's all right here. It's all this roughly but. And we'll see how much roughly but can get done before we actually move, which would be amazing. We'll play it by ear, of course. Let's see, we're going here. Now, we couldn't have cats. We have a greyhound, and she likes to chase small running things, including cats. Squirrels, small rabbits, but that's, we're not going to let her chase kitties. So that's why we don't have cats. That, and I think I am slightly allergic to cat dander. Um, I have problems um, at friends houses who have ca indoor cats I just my my eyes water up and I have allerg the allergy thing going on <laughs> you just means you need a giant kitty I have a giant kitty I have a cat in a dog suit she sleeps all day just like a cat it's a totally chill independent dog my cat in the dog suit I am definitely getting closer to getting this color done, which is awesome. But yeah, I'm definitely going to finish up this color and then we are going to call the stream because I am getting tired myself. It has been a, a bit of a long day for me. I do have a small um, mistake here that I had to pick and pull out. I might, I will probably fix that off stream so that it's taken care of because it's like three stitches and that's not fun. And I'd like to get that taken care of. So I'll probably fix that small bit off stream so that it is done and taken care of so that when we pick up next week on Wednesday, which is my plan um, time, I have to double check what time I'm working. I think I have an earlier shift that day. So I might get to come in for, I might be to come in earlier in the afternoon. That's also going to depend on how things went with my husband and the baby that day. Be so that if he's had a rough day with the baby, I'm going to give him a break before I stream. So I will put up a tentative time um, this weekend of when I'll be live next week. And hopefully... It would be amazing. Um, I won't hold my breath though. But it'd be very amazing if I could get affiliate before we move, because that would just that would just tickle me pink. 
So we will see. We're getting closer. I'm at, looks like I'm at 34 of 50 followers. So we just got 16 more people to, to um, bribe, I mean ask nicely to follow me. And then we will, we'll be getting there. It's kind of exciting. I didn't realize I would get this close this quickly. So I want to thank everyone for hitting that follow button. It means a lot to me that this kind of on a whim, which became a dream, is actually going to become a reality. So that's really awesome and a lot of fun. All right. And with that, that is the stitching. Okay, let me just tie this, uh, weave this under so I don't lose my stitches. I'll probably won't keep this thread. Yes, Elf, you totally helped. You more than helped. You actually helped. So that's where we are. Um, I've got, you've got the, the, the shadow of my camera, but you've got the saddle and this, this part here. And this is, this gray part is the horse's stomach area. So my next movement, I'm going to actually, there's a couple missing stitches here. I'm going to take care of that off stream so that it's done. And then uh, next week we're going to move into the back half of the saddle and move into the actual, um, fluffy butt. Oh, Naka, no need to apologize for the lurk. I appreciate you being here and just watching and lurking. Me it means a lot. So, um, to um, thank you, Saren, for your host. I appreciate that. Um, thank you, um, Elf, for helping. Um, and thank you, um, Zix and Gon, for hitting that follow button um, on stream. That was, I appreciate it so much, and that is awesome. So, with that, I'm going to call it a stream. Uh, thank you guys for stopping in and joining me. I had a lot of fun tonight. Got to talk about a, random, a lot of random stuff. Got, you know, made some connections. And I hope everyone has a good night. And don't stay up too late because that's what I always say, even though it's not true. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all again soon. Um, I'm probably going to play around in WoW this weekend. So, yeah, have a good night, everyone. Thanks for joining me. And I will see you guys all next time.